Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is my entry for the Wheeled Vehicles in Combat Group Build, hosted by Yorama Model Bow and Scale Bench. I started with 252 videos over 6 hours. You start here with the main deck. Then you mate that with the chassis basin. I'm becoming a big fan of Hobby Boss. Just showing you once or twice what the plastic looks like. You have to put this gizmo in first. Believe it or not, I found it. Priming before sealing it all up. The fit for most everything is outstanding. A few needed some finagling. I put these in after I joined the halves, and they went in fine. The amount of PE is fine, just what's required. Tamiya files are excellent, and I find when you pull towards you it works best. This is the CA glue I use for all my PE. You start to build up the suspension. You spend a lot of time on this, but it's mostly covered up. Thankfully, it all built up nicely. So one thing you have to do is complete the holes on a lot of these. It's fine on one side, but flashy on the other. Then you add the other brace or arm for each wheel. Now for the wheel wells. I use the plastic part to mold the PE.
No idea why they didn't have this as one P.E. piece. It was fiddly to get on. This phase is done. Time to get some more priming in. I'm going to build up the wheels, but add them later. You start to build up the front crew cab. The PE was crisp and clean. This is the light machine gun ammo storage. I'll glue up the seat subcompartments and add them later. Back to the forward crew deck. I'll build up the interior surfaces first. Test fitting them, then I primed it. This is the part that goes in the front. I built this up, but we'll add it later after painting. the communications packet.
They indicate these antennae go here, but they actually go here. The roll cage indexes later in the ones they show. These are the driver doors. The PE is straightforward. You start to build up the rear fighting compartment. I've added the deck, tools, 50 cal tubs, and exhaust. Once I trimmed off those tabs, it fit right in. It was time to prime up what I had built so far. Showing how this feeds in. Then the spare holder and swing door. Time for the ammo cans and water and fuel cans. I 3D printed some as well and found the kit product to be superior. And here are the ammo cans built up and primed. We'll paint them all in a bit. Now we build up the M2 main armament. I built them up so I could paint them either gunmetal or black. And now for the front light machine gun. 
All the subassemblies are done. Now we move on to the painting. For the undersurface, Using my Harder and Steambeck Infinity, I lay down two light coats of Mr. Color Sand Yellow. Here's everything with the first coat. I'm going to lay down two more coats in lighter shades. I've added 10% off white. I'm working around and through the first coat. I added more white and added a final highlight coat. Using AK Acrylic Buff and a Golden Maple Brush, I highlighted all the surfaces. Using VMS Spirit, I'll dilute down the AK Dust and Dirt deposit for the tires. Let it dry, and then rub off the excess to your liking. For the spare tires, I'm using plain mineral spirits to tone them down. Now for some detail painting on the subassemblies. Back to the cans. Khaki green for all of these. Then a mix of these for the dry brushing. Then Tamiya Brown panel liner. I added the decals and weathered them. I've used my Dispia cutter to make stencils for the wheels. I covered these in steel. For guns, 
I cover in satin black and then dry brush with acrylic steel. Back to the radio bank. Just used a little red and silver for the knobs. Bouncing around a little, but just detail painting the subcomponents. For an effect, coat the screen with Mr. Masking Saw. It dries to a nice greenish screen effect. We'll add the decals soon. They give you ammo belts for both guns. I now pin wash with a 50% cut of AK Desert Africa Core Wash. I love Laser Creation World. He's gotten me into acrylic filters. I added a touch of Tamiya Dark Yellow to water and adding it as a dulling filter to the model. The base coat is Vallejo Wood, adding raw umber oil and some VMS spirit for the grain. Now we hit all the edges with the pixie dust. Vallejo Dark Steel Pigment. Back to the wheels and tires. The instructions leave this loose, but I wrestled to keep them aligned when attaching the wheel, so I tacked them in place. Now I color up the glass pieces. This is supposed to be 75% red, 25% orange. You can hardly see it when it's in place. The seat surface is khaki. I think this turned out nice.
added in the ammo cans. Now you add this and tie the front part in to the cabin. Now adding the main roll cage to the model. The spare tires. The fuel cans and water cans. Wrapping up the armaments. Last thing was adding some dust pigments to the model. Also, it's not that green to the eye. I need a new camera. Thank you for watching, and a massive thank you to my subscribers and supporters. Be well, and happy modeling.